Hello, very good morning to you wherever you are. My name is Benedict. This is a Monday morning here on the show and we talk sports. And obviously, we are coming from a weekend here on the low coast in the so action in the Ghana Premier League. And I'm thrilled to talk about Ashanti Gold, my man CK Akono, coach of Ashanti Gold. He actually earned his first victory since taking charge of the team and wasn't against any other side than the Premier League champions that's one all stars at the Lenclay Stadium yesterday. He won that game by a goal to know. We'll talk more about that. And I know he's watching the game. So a very good morning to you, CK Akono, for winning uh, your game yesterday against War All Stars at the Lenclay Stadium. Also, Asante Kotoko still struggling to get results in the Premier League. They ended the first round with a draw with Tamayut at the Baba Stadium. And at the Danceman Karindo Park was a quite hard to folk that continued their fine form in the league. Uh, prior to this game, they had played Wafa at the Accra Sports. They won that game by two goals to one. And yesterday, they defeated Liberty Professionals by three goals to nil. Obviously, Liberty uh, couldn't uh, answer to those goals. And uh, you talk about other teams as well, uh, which we will all check out what's been happening on the local scene. One international scene, Chelsea are champions of the English Premier League on Friday. They defeated West Bromwich Albion by a goal to nil. And by virtue of that result, they claimed this year's uh, you know, English Premier League title. Well, Roma uh, denied the uh, Juventus uh, from winning the Serie A title this weekend as they defeated them by three goals to one. And the race uh, in Spain is still on. Barcelona winning as well as Real Madrid winning 4-1, 4-1 respectively for both teams. And we'll do more uh, in there. And uh, you know it's uh, already been done, dusted in Germany. That's where uh, Borussia Dortmund, uh, they couldn't challenge the title as Bayern Munich. Uh, won it this season. Also in France, we'll see what happened there if we have time. And later, we'll talk about the under-17 team, the Black Star. Let's, they started their campaign on a high in Gabon as they defeated Cameroon by four goals to nil yesterday. Amazing performance from the team that says Kepa Eia and Sulu scoring two great goals each uh, to make it 4-0 uh, in that game against Cameroon. That was their group opener. We'll do more about that as well. But we start here on the local scene, and as I noted in my intro, the Ghana Premier League, uh, with 15 matches were on it over the weekend. It actually started on Saturday at the Suga Kope Park, where Inform Wafa played host in Talais. Well, Wafa going into this game had lost uh, their match day 14 game to Accra Hard Folk at the Accra Stadium by two goals to one. Obviously, needed a win uh, to get back to winning ways, and exactly so, they defeated Interlice by two goals to nil. Well, their coach, Klaps uh, Rasmussen, uh, spoke after the game. I have to uh, take in consideration, especially this game, how uh, the opponent approached this one. I think they did well, uh, but uh, I think we have some uh, things we can do when the uh, opponents do like this. And in the current moment, we, we make goals. Uh, they put two men on com line, and suddenly there's space out of the way. So, of course, thinking is, is part of uh, coaching. You know, what happens to you? You like to take a break, or you still stay and then work with, with your boys ahead of the start of the second round? Well, I think the next week we should have a FA game. And uh, I heard that the, the league will continue, so uh, I can't go nowhere. So that was Wafa coach Klasmussen in that interview with my colleague Ridwan Ibrahim Hassan. We can also hear from the losing side, that's uh, Coach Prince of Inter Allies. No, I think, uh, I, say, I would say you are getting it wrong a little bit because uh, the past four games, we go away, we draw. We come home, we win. So I don't see, we are doing well. It's just we lost this one here. If in four games, if uh, you are able to grab those points, it's, it's okay. We went to Elimina, we drew over there. The game before that too, we drew as well. So uh, it looks good, but uh, it's just we lost this one by some uh, silly, silly mistakes. You know, what sort of work will be done um, with the league on break now? What are you going to do? You are out of the FA Cup. That should give you some more days um, to work with your boys. Yeah, I think uh, we need to beef up the team. We have, we have to make some changes. Some we need some new guys in the team as well. And I think we are working very hard to grab some two boys. I don't know whether it's done or not, but. Uh, they promised me yesterday that it's a done deal, so let's see what happens, you know. That was Coach Prince Owusu of Intala. It's a side lost 2-0 to Wafa on Saturday, so we'll check matches that were played on Sunday. I've already uh, run through some of the results, but we'll take a full a look at uh, what happened in the Premier League uh, over the weekend. And Saturday, we've seen, uh, you know, much reaction from Wafa coach as well as in Tala High School. So at the Bichim uh, Park, Bichim United played host to Indiana Stars, and that game ended one all. Chelsea also drew goalless with Accra Great Olympics. Great Olympics doing so well 
and our new coach, Tom Strand, in Kumasi Asante Kotoko, yet still not getting results as they dropped a two points at the Baba Stadium. First game for new coach, Steve Pollack, they drew goalless with Tema Youth. Ashanti Gold, CK Akono's Ashanti Gold managed to beat Wild Stars by a goal to know. Great work uh, CK Akono is doing at Ashanti Gold, and uh, he ended the first round on a high. Hopefully, when he comes uh, back for the second round, we'll get some impressive results uh, to escape relegation. Where they currently lie, not impressive at all, but you know, gradually they are climbing up as they defeated Wild Stars by a goal to know. Liberty uh, lost you know, to Accra Hearts and Folk. Borga Wild Stars also lost 2 1 to Media Messi with the Omina Sharks beating Ebusan Dwells by a goal to nil in uh, Omina. That game was played at the Indum Park. So the table for you, uh, if uh, the after 15 round of matches uh, in the Premier League, Wafa are leading 32 points as against Indiana Stars. Uh, they are second. They have 30 points, so two points separating Wafa and Indiana Stars, and Wafa doing very well. Aqua Hearts folk, they've now moved to third with 26 points, as well as Bukum Chelsea fourth with 22 points, and we'll have uh, you know Bethlehem United fifth with 22. Media Mercy are sixth with 21. Kotoko are seventh. With 21 points, Dwarves are eighth with 20, Wild Stars ninth with 20, Interlice tenth with 18, Omina Sharks are eleventh, their position with 18 points, Tema Youth are 12 with 17, Liberty they now find themselves 13th on the table with 15 points, and Ashanti Gold have moved from 16th to 15th uh, with 12 points, and Olympics 14th with 15 points, with Borga All Stars languishing at the bottom. Of the table with just 10 points after 15 match days. So the Premier League is going on break, and as to where that when we're starting, we'll definitely will get you. But uh, what I know is that next week we're going to have MTN FA Cup matches here on the local scene.